I said, you sure? They're like, yeah. It was a young lady driving it. Christian Malone or some shit. We like, what? Nigga, this bitch then broke in the house. Stole the keys, stole four, five thousand that was in the in the Mr. Little Loose money in the drawer, leaves in the motherfucking G Wagon. I it looked to me like she was, I don't know where she was going. The bitch, you didn't got four, five thousand. You could have got on the plane. See, but now I'm reading the charges. The charges say distribution with the intent. So for for you to get a distribution with the intent, it gotta be a certain amount of work. Hell yeah. So now, so now that tell me, I'm just doing the math. This bitch was attempting to move some work for somebody and came up with the plot because she knew niggas was gone. Let me go start, see if I can steal one of these niggas' cars. I'm going to move to work like that. Had to be. Like, because where you get some work from like that? You got oh, four no, five no. thousand. If you wanted to go to Oklahoma, her, somebody sent her for sure. Bro, listen. If you wanted to go to uh to Baltimore, bitch, you could have went and brought a plane ticket. Shit, she could have got on the bus. Bro, she could have went, but that's what I'm saying. This ain't about you want to go home, right? Because see, you got four five thousand dollars. You could have went and brought a plane ticket. So that means now I'm reading this new shit I'm reading. I ain't knowing she got caught with the work and she had working on it. I ain't knowing none of that shit. So now it's making sense. Okay, somebody didn't proposition her or whatever, whatever, to do whatever. And she didn't put the play. Y'all, and I keep telling y'all, this girl ain't stupid. She know exactly what the fuck she doing, bro. You know what I'm saying? She know what she doing. She for sure know what she doing. Yeah, she for sure, for sure know what she doing. Yeah, so that fucked me up when I seen the intent to sell. See, because in order for them to charge you with a distribution, they ain't just caught you with a little bag of weed tonight. Nah. You got caught with some shit. You know what I'm saying? Or to get that get that charge, so. Yeah, hey, that, charge, that charge means something. That charge means something, bro. Cause see, you understand when we called the report the car is stolen, we don't know it's her. Cause we had to tell the police the keys is gone. They got the keys because the keys was, you know, I don't know about y'all, but nigga, I leave all the keys in one drawer. All my if, nigga, that's where they at. That's why I don't lose the motherfuckers, right? So the keys, it's some loose money sitting in the little drawer. And we like, yo, the keys is gone, the money gone. We don't know who got it. We ain't got nobody to sit and take the car. All right, cool. We we this broad nigga. They call us seventeen hundred. What's the name of this little city? I just get off the phone, man, because I got to I'm trying to get these motherfuckers. I got to call the transport service, which ain't a problem. But they want us to be there in person. I'm like, no, 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 we can't do that. I can sign over some documents, releasing the car to a transporter, and I can pay y'all. They like they in the country, bro. They like we want cash. I'm like, listen, man. <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna get on no. I would have to get on the plane, fly to Tulsa, then drive a hundred miles. I can't drive because I got to go pick a car up, a hundred something miles east, heading into fucking Missouri or whatever the fuck that is. Get the car and then drive back seventeen hundred miles. She's so weird in the head and stupid. The car don't fold, Rocky. You don't yeah. ride no car like that cross country. Across country, yeah. hell. I don't know, mother nigga, you asking for a problem. You know what I mean? But once again, everybody be like, yo, whack tripping, whack the girl. Man, this bitch is a problem. A problem. Yeah, I you know she don't know what she's doing when she took a car like that, trying to go do some work. What's the worst? She can get it like a magazine. <laughs> Come on, bro. We ain't gonna mention. We ain't gonna mention. My nigga at his place of business a couple weeks ago, and the police pull up. He thinking they coming to get something to eat from the restaurant. They arrest him. Well, well arrest me for what? You got a, a domestic violence. Domestic violence? On who? Take him down there. I send a bondsman booking. They ain't going to give you no paperwork till you go to court. Right? We get to court. Say I'm going to court. 
Kearney coming in, come back out with the paperwork. Who's Krishan Malone? I look at the nigga. I look at him. Because I've been telling him, I told him before, hey, look, bro, the show done. Send that broad home. Broad's a problem, right? He said, yeah, that's, that was, that's my artist. But I, don't, I don't deal with her. She stayed on this date. You did this, this, that, and other. This date. I know the date. I said, bro, we wasn't even in town that date. We wasn't in town? No, I got the plane tickets every time. We wasn't in town, right? Then she goes on to stay. Rocky, you ready for this? <clears throat> Him and his management are gang members, and they're known to have guns. I say, nephew, get this rat-ass bitch. Get this bitch. Uh... Yeah, this is what I'm yeah. saying, though. She That's why I don't give a fuck about none of you women or none of you sentimental niggas. I don't give a fuck about what none of y'all got to say. Bro, I have she no trying feelings. To drag, she trying to drag niggas at that point. Bro, I have no feelings. No, look, you didn't call, made a false report, didn't go on a report, right? We ain't got nothing to do with it. Talking about niggas is running around this way and that way and this way. And it's the thing, Rocky. I'm dealing with it the civil way because you know how it's supposed to go. So my way is just to say, hey, stay the fuck away from us. All the women say, oh, come on, whack. Uh, man, why you, why you, she a little girl. Man, that bitch 21, 22 years old, ain't no little motherfucking girl. <laughs> my uh, daughter 17 ain't no little girl. She know better. Right? So, you know, once again, we got a restraining order on us now, Rocky. Well, I said, the judge hit us with a restraining order. We like, cool. This is perfect. Because to we don't she want got the, the bitch. restraining order and she coming around niggas. Nigga, she done broke, a, broke in the house again. Now, listen. She broke in the house again up five days ago. We didn't say nothing. We come in, pull up, we catch the bitch jumping the gate, my nigga. Wow. The bitch is stepping on trash cans, jumping the gate. Now, I'm really trying to figure out what possession you bro. Let's do Wait, me. did you say something about the you said something about the glass already? That's this time. She broke the glass. Cause when we get to the house, the glass broke and it's blood all on the glass. So we like, God damn fuck going on? We turn the corner, man. This shit like a motherfucking movie, nigga. Dean Coots book or some shit. <laughs> written in blood. I love you, blue. Right? So now the police, they didn't took the blood samples. They didn't took pictures of all this shit. They like, you don't know. I said, we have no idea who could have did this. But the keys gone, the car gone, money gone. We don't know. Right? they like, all right, cool. Day and a half later, we get a call from nigga, the troopers, nigga in Oklahoma. Nigga, she a hundred miles east of Tulsa. You know what I'm saying? In the car. But looking at the charges now, she has some work on her. So now I got to do the math. Okay, you stole four five thousand. If you was trying to go home to Baltimore, or whatever the fuck, you could have just brought a plane ticket. Bust and on top crazy. of that, she had to. And on top of that, she had to have an accomplice. She had to have somebody that was sitting there working with her on the other side, telling somebody her, I'm gonna do this and go. Let me tell you what they did. Let me tell you how they worked her. She took the car over there to them, probably, and they put the work in there. And they probably didn't give a fuck because they wasn't in there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just like not knowing that forty, bro. That's a that's a drug gun and and a money highway. Any bro, you coming across in a blue yeah, or black yeah. wagon with blue they know rims? What that trail is, nigga. You coming with a black G wagon with blue rims and California plates, my nigga. You coming across the hey, I hey, hey, the California plates alone gonna make them look at you, my nigga. It's over with. But see, it's more headaches. They gonna say, "Oh, she need help." Well, look, what about all this paperwork I got to do with these people to release this car? I got to call transporters. Pay these niggas five, six thousand dollars, bring the motherfucking car back. You know what I mean? And all this shit. What about any of that shit? Anybody, any of that, this broke ass window we got over here. Blood all on walls and shit. I'm, I'm just confused. Like, I really want one of these women who I always get, oh, whack, she's a little girl, give her a break. And then, this, bro, okay, let, let's do it. She called the police on us in the house. Y'all seen that? Three weeks later, Blueface get arrested at his place of business on a motherfucking false report. Another five, ten thousand. I gotta wait five thousand on the bill. 
the other five thousand, I got to get an attorney just on a retainer. Money gone, right? We go in here. The paperwork says she's saying blue and everybody one of his gang members with guns. That's telling. Have you look at it, whether it's a lie or not. We can have later after that court date. We just learned last night. She breaks in the house, cuts her leg again, writes on the wall in blood, takes the keys to a G wagon, two hundred thousand dollar car, one hundred seventy five thousand dollar car, five thousand dollars. Go somewhere with somebody. Looks like packed the car with drugs, and jumps on the forty and heads east. And niggas is still saying under my comments, "Oh, whack, you wrong for that." She needs several ass whoopings. Fuck that bitch. See, that's a thing. They, they keep on giving her. They keep on giving her crutches. They keep on giving her crutches. Wait, and then she plays y'all. She plays everybody with the I'm pregnant shit. With the, um, this shit. All this sympathy, all cap. She's sitting there. She said to myself, she said, "Why? All them? It's too many women on there. I can play the fuck out of them. They're gonna believe me over you any day." Wow. Wow. She both. He like whack. I ain't had no fight with no ladies, bro. I'm telling you. So now I'm thinking about one of these wild ass parties. I'm trying to put it together. We go to court, get the paperwork. Nigga is nigga Krishan Malone. She had filed charges on this nigga. Now watch this. Since the charges was filed, was filed. She filed the charges before the first break in. It just never went into a warrant. Wow. She going to motherfucking paperwork, talking about he run with gang members. They got guns. They all gang members. All this kind of crazy shit, right? So we go in there and talk. He talked to the judge. We set it for a speedy trial. We want a speedy trial. Let's get, let's get this shit out the way, right? All right. So the judge turns around, sir's nephew. Not with just a regular restraining order, what a third party restraining order. Meaning, if your mama, baby mama, son, daughter, whoever contacted, we booking your ass too. Right? Great. We cool with it. What she do? We pull out one night, she jumping over the wall. I say, man, just let the bitch run, bro. Leave the bitch alone. She ain't in the yard no more. This shit crazy. And then she pull this. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm finna contact my uh my attorney, let him know what it is. I'm pretty sure he's gonna have a field day calling the DA.